Well, um, I think that I've always had an interest um, in English and law from a personal perspective. And uh, for me, uh, as a practicing lawyer, I really saw the interconnectedness um, and the importance of um, good English language skills to being a practicing lawyer. And I think that um, the, the effective use of language um, is perhaps a, a, a lawyer's most important tool. Obviously, um, you know, excellent lawyers have a good commercial awareness. Um, they know what their clients need and they're able to serve those interests. Um, but I think what really distinguishes excellent lawyers from mediocre ones is their ability to use language effectively. Um, when I moved to Munich in late 2010 um, and started training uh, both students and practicing lawyers in, in legal English, um, what I realized is that the legal community wasn't being particularly well served um, by the existing uh, language service providers or training providers um, in the sense that uh, there, there was some awareness of what the requirements were or what the legal community needed. Um, but not an in-depth understanding because um, a lot of the time these service providers um, are people who know what 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 uh, business people need, what people need as regards general English, um, but because of their lack of a practical understanding or background are not able um, to serve the community in a very targeted and directed way. Um, and so it was, I suppose, both an awareness of um, my personal interests um, and the needs of the legal community in Germany for really targeted, um, practical or practically oriented training um, that led me to, uh, to found Transact Training. Well, I think we need to distinguish between two different categories of training providers in this regard. Um, on the one hand, you have general and business English training providers, and on the other, um, legal English training providers. Uh, and I think it's it's probably a fairly obvious uh, point to make, but uh, if you as a lawyer or a tax advisor, for example, go to a general or business English training provider, what you'll probably find is that your general level of English improves, but that very likely the service that you're receiving from that provider isn't going to address uh, the very specific needs that you have um, in relation to your legal practice. So in other words, in actually being able to deliver a full professional service to your clients in English. And uh, the simple reason for that is obviously that, um, that legal English uh, is very particular, it's very specific, um, and the circumstances in which uh, the English language is needed um, are, are going to be vastly different um, to uh, the kind of skills, etc., that are being taught by general and business English providers. Um, on the other hand, you have uh, legal English providers. So, of course, uh, there are kind of few providers of legal English um, around. But uh, what I found, at least through my experience and working through with a few of these providers and looking at the, the general offering um, in Germany in that regard, um, is that there's a kind of tendency to say, well, okay, we're aware that lawyers need some kind of specific language, they need some kind of specific assistance, but there is this tendency to treat lawyers as a group. In other words, to say, well, you know, this is a homogenous group, um, they're all the same, they need the same kind of language, etc. When in reality, of course, if you're a lawyer, you might be practicing in-house, you might be practicing in a law firm, the skills that, are going, that you're going to need are probably going to be quite different um, in those different contexts. Um, in addition, you'll probably have a, a variety of different practice areas that you're involved in. So, for example, a lawyer involved in intellectual property or media law is going to have very, very different requirements as regards English uh, language training uh, when compared to, say, a lawyer who, who might be involved in uh, mergers and acquisitions work um, or who is advising on tax issues. Um, so that was really where I saw the need in the sense that um, a lot of the legal English providers or the existing ones tend to cater um, for lawyers as a group. In other words, to say, well, they are this homogenous group. Um, and what Transact Training does is effectively to say, no, lawyers are individuals. Lawyers are different to one another um, and their practices are inherently different. The skills they need are different. And so what we do is to uh, tailor our training specifically to those requirements. Um, in addition, obviously, we have an inherent understanding because 
we've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, we've practiced as lawyers or tax advisors, and so we're in a unique position to be able to deliver very specific and tailored training um, that serves the legal community uh, community's requirements. Well, I think if you as a legal or tax professional decide to make use of our services, um, what you'll find is that everything we do um, is really directed at your individual circumstances. Right from the beginning, um, when we conduct an analysis of your needs, uh, what we do is to identify um, the transactions, the situations, the circumstances um, that you as a legal or tax professional will be facing on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and all of our training is based on those transactions, those situations, those circumstances, um, and directed at really ensuring that um, when you leave the training room, you will be able to um, deal with your clients, deal with your cl uh, colleagues in English um, in, in a confident way and in as confident a way as you're able to do that in your native language, for example, German.